Oh gosh! Oh, I'm shaking bad. One of my shoes got wet, fell in the lake again. Hello, Cal. <laughs> How we doing? You're buying a house. I'm buying a house. <laughs> but paperwork. Oh yeah. And your target is ten. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Cal's done a cracking job of editing vlog one. I'm assuming that you guys would have seen it by now, so there's no point me showing you it. What are you having for lunch, by the way? I haven't got any. Dan Danny's, Danny's the, the one that is the mastermind behind lunches. Crispy chicken wraps. <laughs> Crocodile. Pesto, pasta, ravioli. Which has the least sauce? So yeah, uh, it would be two crispy chicken wraps, please. Yeah, two? A ASAP. No, one for you, Cal. Oh, oh no, I'm having two. Three <laughs> crispy chicken wraps, please. You best like and subscribe. Goodness me. That's, that's enough. And this is mine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you were like having a heart attack then. Cole's like, oh. This one is looking perfect. <laughs> no, that's looking so dry. Woo. <gasps> wow. Cole. Sauce. Oh, it's so crispy. How on earth? These guys, they eat properly. I follow, my lunch is cheese on toast every single day. But not when I'm at Cal and Danny's house. <gasps> Do you always roll it with that much conviction? Yeah, it's gotta be... It's not just because you were on camera. No, look at mine. Mine's just as convicted. Oh, did I tell you that when I was like 18, the doctors diagnosed me with autism uh, because of like related to the panic attacks? Yeah. Mm. And my mum and dad were like, no, the doctors are wrong. This is going to be the most flavoursome thing I've ever eaten. I'm surprised you went with the spicy one. <laughs> all the tastes are good, all the flavours are good. Right. It's just sauce, I've just got to get used to sauce. Can you actually... Oh, stop it, Cal. Cal. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> get rid of it. Oh, is that... <laughs> good. See you, Cal. Adios. Adios, indeed. Oh, yeah. Dry and crispy. That weed cutting boat has returned. I think today is collecting up the weeds that were cut in previous weeks. Maybe I won't get wiped out by weeds so often once he's finished doing his job. That would be nice. I'm guessing that boat does scare the fish quite a lot because I haven't seen any around this area. There is no better hot day food than watermelon. Exactly what I needed. Approximately 10 hours later. Morning. I blanked. <laughs> Now I've got to go home. There's bad barrow tip-ups and then there's really bad barrow tip-ups. Look at that. Oh no. Hey, hey. Okay. Well, that was just a horrible experience for all involved. And some dog will probably find those boilies in about an hour's time and have a ripe feast. I'm gonna stick some bait out though in my swim on the way and uh, top up the spot. Wow, that really is not very nice. Not only is it a bream, but something's tried to eat its head. I tell you what though, that's a big bream. The only problem is it's, it's hard to see where my marker is, it's quite misty. Today's gonna be good. I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna eat good breakfast and then work really hard so I can get back fishing again as soon as possible. Now I am heading with Tom to our local printing company. They are the guys who print my books, stickers, posters. I'm gonna go see them today about another exciting project. Problems, problems, problems. Thank you, see ya. Progress has been made. These things are always more difficult than you imagine. We'll get there. This will be the best catch log book ever. Oh, you just said the name. I mean, it will be the best secret product X ever. That may or may not be a catch log book. <laughs> Anyway, thank you One Digital. They're a good company, they are. Ta da! Let's try that again. Ta da! Oh, nearly. Would you believe it? 
They are finally here. It's way too hot. Why is it 35 degrees this is today? This long day. <laughs> I need to get back in the sea. It's also an extra large, by the way. So. Does that mean you're going to stop stealing my sweaters now? You can have as many as you want. How is it looking? We've got about 100. Oh, that's actually very, very big. This is actually a real cool moment because I've been waiting a long time. Oh, it's so soft. Yes, happy days. And now I never have to buy another sweater Thank ever you. again. Next task is to take all of these and all the ones that are in my van and bring them to my dad's house because that's where we keep all of our merchandise. Now Tom looks like me. Mm, I feel like I could catch everything. That's when you know it's worth striking. <laughs> that, that, that's, that doesn't align with me anymore. <laughs> you ready to go on? Strength. Use your strength. Nice work. Air conditioning on. Oh, that's better. Now I am a delivery driver. Sizes small, medium, large, XL, and double XL. Now that the stock's over at my dad's, he will be able to post them out when people order them. Well done, Arm. When Ommy moved in, we gave her this bit to do her gardening in. So most of the stuff in your bit is edible, apart from the rose. No, that's a blueberry. Oh, I thought it was a rose. <laughs> anyway, that's the face of productivity. When you're not getting sidetracked by <laughs> random side quests. I don't know what you're on about. I, I wouldn't do such a thing. Hot days and bream filled nights. And then people can get the t-shirt. Hot days and bream filled nights. <laughs> anyway, so many things feel hilarious when you're doing them. And then afterwards, back, just a bit cringy. yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, the speed. Mate, you don't want to break it. Who's going to win? Correct. Who's gonna win, Hannah? Not me. Correct. Who's gonna win? <laughs> Correct. Ah! <laughs> ah! Uh, uh, oh, what is going on? Oh, we haven't started. We started. No, it's nice to be outside where it's cooler quieter and being in those places yeah it's fun for a minute but definitely makes me realize that i appreciate the outdoors and it's out here under the sky where i'm happiest <laughs> but that was a good laugh and i won <laughs> most importantly no no it's not it's the taking part and having the fun with your friends yes. that counts I'm going cycling today and then swimming in the sea. Meanwhile, I've got to do my morning run and then get to work. I've got a lot to do. Oh gosh, she is zooming. This message is for everybody and anybody that has enough guts to believe that they were born to make a difference, that they were born to make history. I refuse to be average. I am allergic to average. I was born to leave a mark! These shorts are awful. <laughs> they are too short. So what I wanted to say earlier when I accidentally was recording in slow motion was that running feels horrible when you're doing it and I really don't like it. But everyone tells me that getting more fit in your body will help with your mind as well and also make you live longer and, and happier. Good morning, pigeon and fish. Oh God, that one is, that one doesn't like being touched, actually. That was like me. This is my first look at the Netherlands trip that we did in spring. And I'm about to watch the outro and tell Tom if he's good enough at his job. Look. Yeah.
You're good enough. Yes! What's the camera? Can we watch? Sleep last night! That's all you get. Oh, no! That's all you get. You gotta watch the video. <laughs> Simple day, really, today. I'm launching some new sticker packs, boiling up some maize, ready for some fishing, and also I'm editing my German friend's visit to England, and that is what this project here is. Lots and lots of footage though, and it's gonna take me a while. The bait is boiling and I've done three hours of editing so far. Which of the viewings was the was the one you, you liked? Well, that's the problem. <laughs> I like one, I like the other. One is... An hour away. Yeah. One is 20 minutes away. So that's a... That's a... That's a plus That's... for the Brighton one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not I'm not picking a side. Well, I, I'm not picking sides here. You guys are going to have to make your mind up yourself. The van is loaded to the brim. We've got tackle and bait to last us six nights. Also some lovely food for ourselves. Myself and Tom are heading up and fish as a team on this trip. We've got a load of filming to do, but also, whilst we're there, really hopeful that we get to see a carp. I'll see you on my birthday. Bye. See you then. This is it. My birthday session. Six nights ahead of us. We do have quite a lot of filming to do whilst I'm here, so myself and Tom are going to be mostly focusing on getting footage for my big campaign film here that I'm working on at the moment. So that's why First thing I've done is set up a time lapse and then uh, we're gonna fish. Time to start finding some spots, maybe getting some bait out. Hello, Swan. He's diving for my bait already and I haven't even put it out yet. We've brought plenty of bait for this session. There is rather a lot of boilies. Hopefully plenty of food for us as well. No. <laughs> That's don't, getting so old. Don't try that. <laughs> Tom said he would bring the food if I brought the carp and <laughs> it is grim out there, proper windy. This is carpy weather. This is when you just think it's going to happen. It's got to. No, give it more, give it more like strength. Yeah, look, see? Yes! Woo! Oh, happy days! Nope. Don't stop believing. We got down the lake, the rain began, now we're Very soaked. Heavy rain. Really nice heavy. Start. It's finally stopped now, and it's time for Tom to flick his rod out. Oh, look at that. That is a big hook bait because it's Bream City in front of Thomas. Yeah. Uh -huh ready to go and catch the 50 pound common and then I will never go fishing with you again. First night of the six night birthday session. Nothing. <laughs> but the good news is bacon, flatbread, Thing will cheer us up immensely. Hello, Mr. Bream. If I video, does the Bream turn into a carp? Here we go, here we go. I think you can keep that moving now, mate. Go on. Go on, the big ball of weed. <laughs> Let me get the dorsal. <laughs> right. That was the first bite of the trip and Tom reeled in a ball of weeds. No, no, no. Not a good sign. <laughs> when I was given the choice by myself to choose what I was doing for my birthday, there was lots of options. Clubbing, partying, house party, rave, festival. I can't think of any other places which I would not enjoy. <laughs> uh, so I chose to go fishing at the place where I've been fishing quite a lot this year. But I can't really get enough of it. The place is awesome. I love it down here. And there's some fish in here that I would uh, absolutely love to catch. A very large mirror in particular. There's a big common in here too. Spectacular one at that. So fingers crossed that we get to see one of them at some point soon.
Tom. The bite. The bite. Oh, I thought I was going to lose my breath. Oh, I'm shaking bad. Hey! Why do you bring me so much luck? Good How lad. do you do that? Good luck. Wow, what a creature. Keep going, buddy. People say letting them go is really nice. I just feel sad. I might never see him again. Happy birthday to me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Hard fighting fish, catching them at long range, something that I'm not really used to. The battles with them out there are terrifying and amongst the weed and all the snags. This session truly solidified the park lake as one of my favourite places I've ever fished. In fact, after this trip, I returned once more and got to witness the biggest fish I've ever seen in the flesh. I also might have landed a PB, but I'll save that for the full video which I'll be making in spring. The bikes kept coming and this birthday session just continued to improve. Being down here on the end of quite a strong wind, there's obviously loads of weed blowing down. Being a park lake in the city, there's a load of litter too. And it's coming through and wiping out my lines, setting off the alarms, waking me up all night. And also potentially, if there's enough weed coming down, it will actually build up on your line and drag your lead, ruining your fishing presentation. So I've built a little raft or barrier, I guess you could call it, to try and stop the weed in its tracks. And it seems to be working. The rods are nice and clear now. That's pulling back. All right, solid pressure rod up really high and hopefully it comes through those weeds. Oh gosh, that, that's gotta be a pike. If that's a perch, it's massive. Oh. No! Came off, came no. off. No! It bit me off. No. no, it just felt, mate, if that was a purge, it was huge. Like genuinely huge. Let's see how long it takes to catch a purge. Not very long. There's lots of them of this size, and then there's the one that you lost. <laughs> oh, stop reminding me. Hi. Oh, Come on. fish. I always find this style of fishing, like a little lure rod, drop shot, whatever you want to do, just helps pass the time when you're waiting for the carp to bite. And if it is a difficult session, it certainly cheers you up a little bit. Gives you something to do and focus on. Whilst waiting for those big boy carps to turn up. Oh, oh no, that's so heavy. Boom, lovely perch. Look at that. Beautiful pike. <laughs> Omi turned up on the last evening of the session, which was the actual day I turned 28. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Tom has cooked a birthday curry. Hi, Om. Sorry about the bright light. Ah! Enjoy your nan bread. Mm -hmm. Your ma'am. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, look at this. Five star treatment. We'll see what happens tonight. Well, that's it. We blanked. <laughs> <laughs> I caught one bream and that's about it. You told them it was just my birthday, didn't you? I'd had a wonderful time, but things hadn't been completely positive. More on that and a mad perch session in my next vlog. Look at that. What is going on? <laughs>